Hi, I'm Luke from Fish 307. We're uh, down here in our maintenance center. We do in-house repairs. We are a warranty center for both Cannon, Scotty, and Walker downriggers. And we also provide parts. Today we'll be covering downrigger repair and maintenance. The basic things are gonna go wrong with your downriggers. Some uh, common fixes that we can certainly provide the parts for. Clutch assemblies typically need to be replaced. Bearings need to be replaced. Line would need to be replaced, that kind of stuff. So we'll cover all that today. Today we're gonna be showing you some of the usual wear items on Canon downriggers. These are things that should be looked at like tires on a car. They're gonna wear out over the lifetime of the downrigger. It's something you're gonna wanna replace eventually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the knob off today, give you an idea of what's going on underneath there. The Canon knob actually spins in the opposite direction of what you would expect it to. And that is because of the way, the direction in which the uh, motor turns the downrigger spool. If it were to go in the fashion that we are all used to, then you'd have the knob coming off all the time. Obviously, you wouldn't want that to happen. So they've actually designed it, so it's kind of counterintuitive as to how it, uh, it spins on and off there. It's a common problem with our customers. We'll get a lot of calls saying the knob is threaded wrong. It actually isn't. It's supposed to go in the reverse of what you're used to. So once you get used to that, then uh, it'll make your downrigger repair a little bit easier. And what you see here is the common wear that we have on the Canon downrigger washers and thrust bearings. You can see these guys actually have a groove in them. You're going to start losing performance when you get that groove in there. It's pretty common. I couldn't really put a time frame on how long it takes for that to happen, but after a few years, you are going to start to run into that. So what you're going to want to do is replace these three pieces. When you do, you want to take them and basically make yourself a little sandwich. Throw it on there, put it right on the downrigger, and then screw your knob back on. Counterclockwise, see? And tighten it up and that'll give you the best performance out of your clutch. What we have here is the new since 2007 Canon power cord and the pre-2007 Canon power cord. The problem with this old power cord is you used to get a lot of sun rot when you leave these out on your boat. This wire right here would be very prone to cracking and then you would have exposed wires, which is gonna cause shorts, gonna cause poor performance in your downriggers and actually poses a threat to anyone on the boat as far as electrocution goes. Um, so what we're suggesting is if you do have these on your, uh, on your downrigger, you should switch over to the new heavier duty Canon style plug. You can see it's a much thicker cord. It is not going to rot in the sun. It's got a much better plug on it, much more water resistant, and it's going to give your downrigger better performance because the electricity is going to come through here more efficiently. It's just going to cause your downrigger to actually work better. Another common wear item we have on the Canon downriggers is the clutch assembly, which you see here. It's two metal washers. You can see the two, the inside and the outside, each have a different hole in them because of what they hold on to. And then you have your fiber clutch washer in the middle. This is something you're going to need to replace, um, I certainly wouldn't say yearly, but after a few years of using your downrigger heavily, these are going to start to wear down. Your clutch isn't going to function as well. You're going to want to replace these. So in order to change your clutch assembly out. You'd start by taking off your motor housing side. Uh, there is a seal in there on the older style downrigger, so you need to kind of get a something in there to wedge that open, break that seal. And once you get inside, you're gonna find your motor sitting right like that. It's gonna be one, two, three bolts holding the motor in. You'd remove those, and then you're gonna have access to the shaft where these guys sit. And they're gonna sit in this orientation See the square hole goes right on the shaft. Fiber washer. And then your inner clutch disc. So once you get that motor out, you're gonna remove that, take these off the shaft, replace them with your new ones, put them back in, and then you'll be good to go. All right, so what's gonna happen is these are constantly gonna be rubbing against each other, which is gonna cause them to smooth out. When they smooth out, they're not gonna grab as well and your downrigger's clutch is not gonna perform nearly as well. So once that starts happening, you're gonna see some slippage. Um, it's gonna be a little bit frustrating using your downrigger. That's what's gonna tell you it's time to change out your clutch discs. Uh, the other issue you may run into is uh, an issue with your motor. It's not a common problem for us, but it does happen. Uh, some of the things that could cause the motor issue are one of the seals on the downrigger being compromised and water getting in there. Um, obviously with electricity and water, it's never a good combination. That can cause issues with the motor. Um, the other more common issue that we run into is people get caught on the bottom or just basically overstress the downrigger. 
putting too much pressure on the motor. If you get caught on the bottom and you start trying to yank it up while your boat's moving, you can actually burn out the motor, cause all sorts of problems with the motor. That's usually what causes these things to go bad. And again, not a frequent problem, but something you want to be aware of, something you want to keep an eye on. Don't stress out your downrigger. If you have any problems with your downrigger and you're not quite sure or comfortable with what might be wrong with it, you can always send it into one of uh, Fish 307 service locations. We can take care of it for you. We have factory trained staff in our facilities at all times, and they can easily take care of your, your downrigger repairs for you. Typically on just a diagnostic, our bench fee is $25. So if we go through and we find out, basically it's just something small or really not an issue at all, maybe the issue's on your boat, it'd just be $25 for us to figure out what it is. That'd be our, our basic fee. Um, and then it would go up for there with parts. A lot of downrigger repairs rarely take over an hour. We charge $90 an hour for our repairs right now. It's pretty standard in the industry and then obviously the parts would go into. These are your two basic cannon reels. The reason I wanted to show you this today is there are old Unitrol HPs out there that have this style reel on it. The problem with this style reel and the Unitrol HPs is they had two inserts, two half moon inserts on the inside of the reel. And when you'd spool your downrigger cable on there, it would be prone to slipping into the side of the insert and then cracking the spool. So what Canon has done when the new ownership took over is they redesigned that spool so you can see that it's much shallower and now the insert is no longer needed. So now you're not gonna have any cable slipping down on the side and cracking your spool. It's a much better design, much more thought out. This is the old style spool that was used on the electrics up until 2013, 14, I believe, when they came out with the SDX models, which now have a different spool. This is the spool for the Unitrol going forward from the HP that no longer requires the inserts. And the other thing we wanted to cover today, we got a lot of people calling up asking how they can remove their spool from their downrigger, which is necessary for a few of the repairs, or certainly if you have a cracked spool. What a lot of people don't realize is you actually have to strip all the line off of your spool so you can get down to where the set screw is. There's the set screw right here. We already have it out of this reel. It's actually hidden right down in there. And what that's doing is holding on to this shaft. This is what makes the wheel turn um, and not spin on the shaft. It's what locks the spool into the shaft. So if you need to take off your spool, you need to get in there with an Allen key, take out that set screw so that you can then remove this shaft and then take your spool out of your downrigger. Another call that our techs get a lot is that people will have done a repair on their downrigger and even though they have their clutch tightened down all the way, they've replaced their pads, they've replaced their bearings, they've replaced everything, their wheel is still spinning and they can't get it to stop when they have weight on there. Typically the issue with that is they did not put the set screw in the right position. As you can see on the uh, inner sleeve for the downriggers, it has two holes where the end of the set screw needs to go. A lot of times people won't have that lined up when they put the spool back on and they'll tighten it back down. So basically, it's not going to stop anything, that set screw. It's just going to keep spinning and spinning and spinning. So when you're putting your spool on, you want to make sure when you insert your reel sleeve, you look down in there and you see that hole is lined up with the hole in here and then put your set screw in there so you have a nice tight fit that's not going to come loose on you. Uh, the last thing we want to cover today with the Canon downriggers is the uh, newer style boom end. Um, it's basically a swivel end and the boom end assembly, whereas they used to be two pieces before. Um, now they've combined them into one. It's actually a bit cheaper to buy it this way, and it is actually a much better design. If you look at the old style, you can see it's got a very narrow wheel on it that would on occasion be prone to the line slipping off there, getting in on the side, causing you all sorts of problems. The new style, it's got a much wider V-shaped indentation in there, and that allows the line to stay in there, and it really keeps the line from slipping off and uh, causing any kinds of problems with your swivel head. So if you do have the old style swivel head and you run into issues, you crack it on the side of the dock or something coming in, we highly recommend switching over to the new style. You're gonna get better performance out of your downrigger, and it's just a far better design. After you've done a repair, uh, your counter could be anywhere. You're replacing your counter, who knows what the number is going to be. You want to make sure when your downrigger is in um, the stowed position that that's at zero so you know how many feet you're down when you're fishing. 
All right, so what we're gonna show you here is how to zero your counter on your downrigger. Sometimes your line will break, you need to reset this. Maybe you've done a repair, maybe you've replaced your counter. For whatever reason, you're gonna need to zero your counter. The position it's in right now, this is just a press fit, slides right in, there's no nuts or bolts to keep it in place. Um, the position it's in right now is it's ready to count. So you can see the numbers are going up there as I move the spool. So to zero this counter, you basically just wanna pull it back and then Move the wheel with your fingers till you get her down to zero, right like that, and then just re-engage it and you're set to go. Okay, these are the two uh, spools that we featured today for the Canon downriggers. This is the old style spool um, used for the older style electrics and also the Unitrol HPs. This is the new style spool for the Unitrols. You can see it's got a much shallower base on it. It's a lot better than the old insert style base the line would slip in on those little inserts and crack this spool. So this is a new design that Canon came out with in uh, about 2007, I believe, for the downriggers from uh, 2007 to, I believe, 2013 or 14. It functions much better than the previous style. Right here we have the um, thrust washers and bearing. These are common parts that need to be replaced on the electric and manual downriggers. These washers, our outer washers right here, will actually uh, get a groove in them after a certain amount of pressure put against them. Uh, so we do recommend that you change those out uh, every few years, typically, depending on the amount of usage. Next, we have the uh, shaft, the shaft sleeve, the set screw, and the three different washers for your clutch assembly. These guys are another typical wear item. They are gonna need to be replaced uh, with heavy use again, probably every two to three years. They're gonna wear down. They're gonna get smooth, very, very smooth. And once they get smooth, they're gonna stop catching on each other. That's what makes your clutch function. So obviously, smooth washers are not what you want in there. Another important piece of the downrigger is the set screw. A lot of people don't realize inside of that spool, there is a hole in this shaft sleeve that this nipple on the end of this set screw needs to go in. That's what's gonna lock this spool into the shaft. If you don't have that in the right place, if you have this offset and it's not going into one of those holes or it's not deep enough into the spool, your downrigger spool is going to free spool. Uh, you're going to run into all sorts of problems and your downrigger is just not going to function. And the last item we had that we covered is the new and improved Canon Boom End Swivel End Assembly Combo. It's got a wider wheel inside of the swivel. This keeps the downrigger line from coming out and it's also incorporated the boom end into the swivel head assembly. So now you have just one piece that's gonna function better, actually swivels around better, and the, uh, the line goes through the wheel much, much better than the old style. This has been Luke from Fish 307. Today we just covered some basic cannon repairs. Uh, a lot of questions were run into the store on the counters, on the reels, on the boom ends. All typical stuff, all stuff we can do in the store. We have factory trained techs that you can send in your downriggers to. Have them done professionally, have them done correctly. And thanks for watching and remember to keep Fish 307 in mind next time you're looking to have your downriggers serviced.